hello everyone welcome back to my channel guys if you are one of my subscribers and if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by and after you're done watching this video don't forget to subscribe so you can keep getting new videos from me so today guys this is going to be my first video for 2019 and today guys it's going to be about treating my hair after I took out my braids so for the winter month you guys know I love to protective style my hair to save my ends and get some growth while it's cold so of course I protected style my hair I kept it in for about 35 days I took the crochet out a week early but I did not unbraid my actual hair and I waited another week before I took it out and if you remember I had them and very small braids so that helped to protect them and give me access to moisturize and keep them clean and just rinse them out until I was able to do my wash day and actually did a whole wash day routine guys so if you guys remember me telling you I wanted to actually grow my hair longer this year so this is the first First time guys I'm actually focusing on retaining a lot more length because I know what I'm doing now for the most part so I wanted to focus on length retention a lot more this year so of course after I took out these protective style the right thing to do was to strengthen my hair back up if you guys have ever noticed when you protective style your hair at least for my hair I have fine hair it tends to shed a lot easier so the best thing I thought to do was to do my henna mask and a protein treatment now if your hair can't handle that don't go all out and do that crazy because my hair was not able to do that in the beginning but now I can do it so I'm going to show you guys what I did after I took out my protective style so guys the first thing I did of course was a hot oil treatment <laughs> you guys know this is where your hair lives this is where your curls survive because doing that hot oil treatment you're protecting your hair from hydro fatigue and it's helping with the detangling process with the shedded hair especially after a protective style so I used my hot oil treatment to finger detangle my hair so after that guys remember I told you one of my last videos to try to leave this in for at least an hour I left it in for about two hours actually I had the time I used my heat cap as well so you can use a heat cap or a steamer or just put it under a plastic cap the key to all this guys is to at least leave it in for about an hour so after my hot oil treatment was done guys I went in with a shampoo and I use a natural shampoo you can use any shampoo that you like I like after I take out my protective style to use a natural shampoo to make sure my hair is completely cleansed because after my protective style now I shampoo my hair twice so I'm going to shampoo my hair a little bit more than usual so with that I will go in and put the shampoo on the roots because you don't really need to put the shampoo on the ends because that shampoo is gonna glide down and you don't need to shampoo your ends as much as your roots so I will go in I will put that shampoo on the roots and massage it in there and also guys I will use my scalp invigorator I love that thing because you get a good deep clean with it it helps to lift up so much dirt and debris on your scalp that after a five 10 minutes use of it on your hair you feel that your scalp is a lot cleaner when you rinse it out and also guys as well you get that good scalp massage which stimulates some good blood flow while you're cleaning your scalp now shampooing your hair twice is optional I do this because this is how I get my hair to be clean after a protective style because I use a lot more product so I get a lot more product buildup so I need to make sure that I'm cleaning all of that out so it is optional to shampoo your hair twice. You may only need it once. So next guys, after I shampoo my hair, what I will do is use my henna treatment. Now you guys see me do this henna treatment. This is my 10 hour henna treatment. If you haven't seen it, I will have a link for you guys to go check out how I do that. I will rinse that out. Make sure that it's completely rinsed out of my hair as much as possible. And I will go and do a deep conditioner. I use a protein deep conditioner guys, just for the added strength to make sure that my hair, not only it was moisturized to balance the protein and moisture, in there one of the best things I see that the protein treatment do for my hair is to help add strength to it on top of that henna treatment I left the deep conditioner in for about 30 minutes under the steamer again you can use a heat cap and leave that in for about an hour or you can use a plastic cap guys and just leave it in for about an hour or two it all depends on your hair how much time you need and after that guys I will rinse it out rinse it clean and my hair feels so clean and also so strong at the end of this at the end of all of this of course guys you know I go and do my rice water rinse I rinse my hair out with this because I use the boil method instead of fermenting the rice I don't have to rinse it out anymore and I usually will boil my rice with my tea now and just rinse my hair out with it and that's pretty much it guys <laughs> now <laughs> I know this was quite a lot to do to your hair um, you may not need all this but I realize this is how my hair survived after a long protective style so this is what I do to to clean it to give it strength and to protect those ends and if you guys notice my hair looks great guys 
guys it looks so hydrating and also it has quite a bounce to it which I love because I want to make sure that my hair is bouncing back it doesn't have too much moisture where it's stretching and breaking or too much protein where it just snaps off now if you don't do a rice water rinse it's a good idea to do a cold rinse after you're done with your wash day routine because it helps to close down your follicles and it helps to give you that shiny healthy looking head of hair so guys that's it my hair is clean it's out it's done and I'm excited to keep taking care of it and working on retaining a lot more length and I thought it was a great idea to start out with this whole big treatment now it gives me a couple of weeks to just take care of my hair while it's strong so it can survive and keep those ends so thank you guys so much for watching if you're not already please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with my latest videos and if you haven't already click that little notification button so you guys will know when I have new videos up and guys go over leave your comments down below don't forget to like this video and go over guys and watch my last video